Today topic is solar collector. Solar collector collects the solar radiation and transfers the solar energy to fluid passing in contact. Solar collectors are made of copper, aluminium, steel and coated with black calf powder to have high observation and low emission. Solar collectors are classified as two types. One is for flat plate collector, another one is for concentrating collectors. Coming to the flat plate collector. In flat plate collector consists of transparent cover plate that is the top covering, transparent cover plate, absor absorber plate, fluid tubes that is series of tube, fluid tubes, insulation, casing. Flat plate consists of transparent cover plates, absorber plate, fluid tube, insulation and then casing. In flat plate collector which observes solar radiation and converted into heat energy. That is it observed for the solar radiation. The output is converted in the form of heat energy. Insulated container which reduce or eliminate thermal losses from the collection system. One or more transparent glass cover is used to avoid upward heat loss from the collector surface. Solar radiation passes through the transparent glass and is observed by the collector plates. The plate is blackened in order to observe maximum amount of sunlight. Circulating pumps keeps a continuous circulating of the fluid through the collector and the storage tank. Flat plate collector gives a temperature 50 degree centigrade in winter, 100 degree centigrade in summer. Generally this flat plate collector in summer the temperature is 100 degree centigrade and in winter the temperature is 50 degree centigrade with an overall efficiency it should be maintained in between 30 to 50 percent. Come to the advantages of flat plate collector. The design of flat plate collector is very simple and easy comparing to the concentrating collector and the maintenance cost is very very less. The maintenance is we need to clean the dust particle. Generally the PV panel it is placed on the open atmosphere. It is observed for the dust particle. Just we need to pour the water automatically it is clean. In the rainy season automatically it is clean. There is no need for the maintenance in the rainy season. That is the maintenance cost is very very less. It has no moving part. For that purpose the maintenance is also minimized. It has no moving part. And application of the flat plate collector. In flat plate collector is used only the temperature range in between that is 40 to 100 degree centigrade that is used for water heating, space heating, space cooling and drying. And coming to the concentrating collector it should be concentrated only on the particular direction. Concentrating collector is used to heat the fluid up to about that is 500 degree centigrade. These collectors are designed to work on direct sun radiations. Generally this concentrating collector is used for agriculture purpose. Again in concentrating collector it is classified for various types. That is flat plate collector with plain reflectors, compound parabolic concentrating collector, cylindrical parabolic collector, collector with fixed circular concentrator and moving receiver, functional less concentrating collector, parabolic disc collector. These are the various types of concentrating collector but in the concentrating collector maximum they will be preferred only for parabolic disc collector. The shape is like a parabolic shape for that purpose it represents for parabolic disc collector. And already we have studied the renewable energy source is not continuous and constant power generation and generate the less amount of power. In solar we can generate it only in the daytime. In night time we can't generate the power. For night time for backup purpose we are storing the energy with the help of battery. Here we are discussed about what are the various methods of storing solar energy. Here the various application is there. One is for thermal application, electrical application, chemical application, mechanical as well as for 
electromagnetic energy storage but the three application is plays a vital role it is familiar one is for thermal application second one electrical and third one is chemical application the solar energy is a time dependent and intermittent energy resources energy storage may be in the form of sensible heat of solids or liquid and in the form of latent heat of liquids generally the solar energy storage system are classified as thermal energy storage electrical energy storage chemical energy storage electromagnetic energy storage and mechanical energy storage the energy storage system are classified for five types one is mechanical energy storage thermal energy storage and chemical energy storage electrochemical or electromagnetic energy storage and another one is for electrical energy storage you can come here in the thermal energy storage that is you can store for heat energy there are two types one is for sensible heat another one is latent heat the sensible heat is used for water storage that is water heater another one pebble bed storage in thermal application is used for water heater another one is space heating coming to the electrical storage system it is used for power generation we can store the electricity by using capacitor storage that is capacitor bank inductor storage another one is battery storage maximum here preferred for battery storage coming to the chemical storage this is used for medical purpose it is used for chemical another one is for thermo chemical and next one the mechanical energy storage used for pumped hydroelectric storage compressed air another one fly wheel the next one electromagnetic energy storage these are the various methods of storing energy in solar system in this section we have discussed about solar collector and what are the types of solar collector one is flat plate collector the next one is concentrating or parabolic collector and the next one methods of storing solar energy what are the various methods we can store the solar energy and how we can utilize that's all thank you